Welcome to Japan. We're about two hours outside of Tokyo. This is the National Cycling Center. So when the Olympics kick off here in 2020 and you see all the bicycles riding around, it's exactly where we're driving these all new 2019 Subaru Foresters here today. So they are new. They're built on the new global platform. It arrived first with the Impreza spread to Crosstrek. The brand new Ascent is built off that platform. And here we have Forester. It's a bigger Forester. It's longer, it's wider. It's just ever so slightly shorter and it has a longer wheelbase, which affords people much more room on the inside. It's also quieter and more refined. The target with Forester was to give more creature comforts to the people driving them and not offer as many options when it comes to engines. No more turbo, just the base four cylinder. So we're here in Japan, I'll tell you more about it and let's go driving. The big news, no turbocharged four-cylinder and no manual transmission any longer. What they've decided to do is focus on the volume selling vehicle, which is the two and a half liter four cylinder. So it's been modified, 80% of the parts have been reworked and they've added direct injection, which gives you better throttle response and it also gives you better fuel efficiency. Add that in to a continuously variable transmission that has a 10% wider variable in ratios for better off the line tip in performance and also cruising on the highway. So that's gonna give you better fuel economy. We do not have the fuel economy numbers here because this is a long lead uh, advanced drive of the car. We'll get that closer to the on sale date along with pricing, stuff like that. So horsepower is up though. So what did they decide to do was give more horsepower, 184 horsepower now and two more pound feet of torque, which is what everybody's wanting these days. So you're gonna get better fuel efficiency. Now that is going to appeal to a lot of people. Now they had the existing Forester here for us to drive and now the new one. And I gotta tell you, two main things stand out to me. Quieter, that's good, and better body roll. They improved the suspension for less pitch and body roll and this very twisty, what is a cycling track is a great way to test this vehicle out and I think on that front they have done a great job. This really is a big improvement. Now one of the things about the Forester in the past, some people complained it was noisy and not that refined. Well they're definitely improving the cabin and the performance for driving on the road. All right, let's talk about the existing Forester and what it did exceptionally well. I get so many emails from people saying, I'm looking for a compact utility that is the easiest to see out of with the best uh, outward visibility. And hands down, the Forester, in my opinion, is the class leader. Big windows, the mirrors are placed on the body, which gives you greater outward visibility. This one has been improved. The A pillars are being moved and are thinner, easier to see out of. The back windows are large and the cargo area around the back, you get this huge big cargo door now that is wider and when you open it up, you get a much larger cargo area side to side. So functionality, Subaru has always been, in my opinion, right at the top of the class. So what else has changed? Well, a lot, even though it looks similar. The wheelbase has been stretched by 28 millimeters and that affords a lot more space, especially in the back seat. You open those large doors, the place where you place your feet to climb in for kids, the step is bigger, the space between the seats is much better, but that is great news. You get more space in the back seat. Then you turn forward and you notice a great contrast of colors, especially in this sport trim with the sort of orange and the bronze color. It looks really smart. There is much more attention to detail with soft touch materials. For example, you get soft touch materials in the center of the console here, where your arms are on the armrest, on the center armrest, just much more attention to detail when it comes to comfort. The seats are bigger for front passengers, heated in the front, available heated rear seats and available heated steering wheel as well. Then you look at the head unit. These are brand new head units for the Forester. Starts at six and a half inches, goes up to eight inches. All of them come with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So in my opinion, Forrester has always been the functionality champ. I love the big doors, the big windows. A lot of people are gonna like that. Now you get more of everything. More cargo space, more backseat room, more plush up front, and more cowbell. 
Now we just had a presentation before we're heading out on the track and they clarified one thing. I mentioned that the the wheelbase has been extended by 28 millimeters. Bingo, we just got five more millimeters. Actually, it's been extended by 33 millimeters, which is great. More space for everybody on the inside. Now, EyeSight is definitely a calling card of Subaru. A lot of people are coming to the brand because of that, because of the two cameras behind the rear view mirror that are always watching. One really cool feature is this car has face detection. It can tell when you're distracted and looking away and can warn you. It can also tell you to take a break because you're driving like you're drowsy and it can detect who's driving the car. So when you get in the car, the car can tell it's Zach. It sets my seat and mirrors for my settings. My wife gets in, it detects her face, changes the settings for her and for up to five members of the family. So that's going to be a really cool feature. I've never seen that in any other brand. So face detection for seat memory and mirror memory, that's a very cool feature. Next, we're going in the mud. Of course, every new Forester model comes standard with Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system. In addition, all Subaru utility vehicles have 220 millimeters of ground clearance for great everyday and off-road driving situations. In fact, there was an off-road course for us to try a few tricks that this new Subaru has. Now, X-Mode has been around for a while, and it's here in this new Forester. It now has a dial in the center of the dashboard to select which X-Mode you want. The snow dirt mode is like the old X mode. It enables the traction and stability control to activate at lower speeds for optimal grip. We were able to try this going over some large bumps and hills with the X mode off. And then with it engaged, the Forester just scampered up no problem at all. This system also includes hill descent control. The driver modulates the brake and the throttle to get to the speed they want, and X-Mode does all the work, keeping the vehicle at a set speed as it goes down a hill. So that's essentially what was available before. What's been added is D snow and mud, or deep snow and mud. If you've ever driven in deep snow, Sometimes you don't want the traction control on. You want to be able to spin the wheels to get momentum to maybe get out of a snowbank. Same for mud. So what this system does, it allows the X mode to do its job with traction control off. So if you've ever been stuck in a snowbank, sometimes you want to rock the car out and that's where D snow and mud X mode will come into play. Most people will use their Forester for getting to their cottage or their cabin, and especially in the Canadian market, using it for winter conditions. So for everyday use, it does a great job, and it's nice to know these features are here if you ever need them. Now there are gonna be some of you that are disappointed there's no manual transmission sold any longer. I guarantee you it's like single digits they sold that. And the turbocharged XT is gone. They're focusing on the two and a half liter four cylinder. Now that doesn't mean that that turbo isn't gonna arrive back in this product. They could come up with a special edition one year. We'll have to wait and see, especially now that they have that 2.4 liter uh, turbo in the Ascent. That would fit nicely into this. So this new Forester, they've taken what has worked and just made it better on every level. There's more comfort, which is what Subaru needed to focus on. Their vehicles were definitely practical. Now they're focusing on the soft touch materials, the head units, and the things that people interact with. Functionality, this is one of the best vehicles already. Now you add in more space, bigger cargo area, and all of that. And the ride has been improved. It certainly is more refined and quiet, and there's more power, which is gonna to appeal to a wide range of people. It's a vehicle that does so many things so well. I just found out today that Canada is the third largest market in the world for Subaru products. This is the kind of vehicle people are buying, and I guarantee you this is going to continue to be a massive hit for Subaru.